All right, so we had a wonderful game between the Seattle Seahawks and the New England Patriots. And once again, it comes down to the last second. Um, I mean, it's like every time these two play against each other, it just it always just comes down to the last second. Um, but first of all, before we begin this video, I just want to uh, send my condolences to the White family. Uh, I know James White lost his father um, right before the game started. So I uh, just want to send my condolences out for it to, uh, to him and his family. Um, but getting hot, uh, just getting, you know, hopping straight into the video, guys. Uh, this was a wonderful game. I mean, this was an absolute beautiful game to watch, guys. Uh, Russell Wilson played once again at an MVP level. Cam Newton showed why he should have been signed a long time ago or should have been signed last year. Uh, or, or I'm sorry, this offseason, he should have been signed. He's one of the best quarterbacks in the league. Cam Newton had a, put on a wonderful performance and pretty much showed why the New England Patriots are still contenders of the AFC East. Um, but, you know, we have Russell Wilson, man, five touchdowns, 21 for 28. Uh, the dude just had an absolute beautiful performance. He had one. He had amazing touch on his passes. Um, the accuracy was there. The chemistry you can tell between his receivers were completely there. I mean, you can just tell the confidence that his team has in him. The offensive line played better. Um, again, the offensive line is not the greatest. It's not the greatest O line in the world, but you can tell it plays a lot better with Russell Wilson at the helm. I mean, this team just played. I mean, Russell Wilson, man, is just on another level, and it's crazy because I remember Russell Wilson coming out of Wisconsin, and then his rookie in his first two to three years, he was called this game manager, even though I felt like he was just a, he was a, he was a pretty solid quarterback. But a lot of people just thought he was a game manager. He's just an average quarterback. He's never going to be elite. And then you look at the last you look you look at the last three to four years and how he's just developed to being one of the top three, if not the best quarterback in all of football. Um, it's just amazing to watch. But yeah, Russell Wilson had to put on a phenomenal performance, spreading the ball out to guys like Moore, Tyler Lockett, DK Metcalf had one hell of a had one hell of a day. Uh, the DK Metcalf just to find Gilmer matchup where Russell Wilson threw a beautiful pass um, over the shoulder to D DK Metcalf over Stephon Gilmore, who I think who will I, I, that was his first touchdown a lot. I think since Devontae Parker, I'm not completely sure about that, but I think that was his first touchdown pass. And, you know, he, he led up in a while. So um, excellent pass, an excellent catch, excellent route by DK Metcalf, too. And, uh, yeah, DK Metcalf has shown why he's one of the best young receivers in the league. But, yeah, Russell Wilson spreading the love out, getting guys like Freddie Swan more, getting them the uh, getting them the getting uh, them the rock so they can get some get some points on the board as well. Uh, just got to give a lot of credit to this uh this Seahawks offense. I also got to show some love to Chris Carson, too. I know that some people are going to bash me because I'm not going to show him some love, but trust me, we will show Chris Carson some love, too. He had a pretty decent night on the ground, but also he had that very important receiving touchdown that will route, too. So got to give a lot of credit to Chris Carson. Um, the Patriots, man, um, offensively, they they did their thing out there. And that's one of the things I kind of criticized about the Patriots was how are they going to look offensively? Because you look at this unit last year with Tom Brady, and it's it's Tom Brady. And you look at the unit, and the offensive line wasn't really there, at least pass blocking wise. Uh, the receiving cores, they were banged up, they were hurt, but you can tell the continuity between them and, and Tom Brady just wasn't there. Um, so the question was with Cam Newton being there, and with you know this completely being you know you know how was the scheme going to look? Because Cam Newton and Tom Brady, they're two completely different separate quarterbacks. They have two different skill sets. So how was Josh McDaniels and this Bill and Bill Belichick? How are they going to utilize Cam Newton so that he can live up to his fullest potential? Because that dude, once he lives up to his full potential, he's he plays at an MVP level. Um, they showed it. I mean, you know, uh, they made Cam Newton. Uh, the the play calls were absolutely phenomenal in the passing attack by Josh McDaniels. Uh, Cam Newton looked very very comfortable in there in the pocket. Um, even when he was getting hit, still getting a lot of pressure on Cam, he was he st he still stood strong in that pocket. He moved up when he needed to move up. And he did a phenomenal job delivering the balls, man. Uh, but Julian Edelman, man, best slot receiver in all of football. That dude is a Hall of... I don't care what anybody said. That guy is a Hall of Fame receiver, especially at the at the slot position. He just might be the best slot receiver in football in, 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 in NFL history. Like, seriously. I, I, it's like I, I can't really name a better slot receiver than Julian Edelman. He is so... He's such a really... He's such a phenomenal talent, especially at his age. Got banged up knees and banged up ankles he's an old man walking and he still had 179 yards put up a buck 79 against the Seahawks defense so got to give a lot of credit to the uh to Julian Edelman uh Nikhil Harry right had a very rough start his rookie season you saw what happened during his uh 
Sophomore season so far, first game, didn't have a good game, had a, had a fumble that ended up as a touchback. But this game, 72 yards, put on, put on a very strong performance. Got to give a lot of credit to Nikhil Harry. Um, Got to give a lot of credit to the pass protection as well. I feel like the pass protection was a lot better than what we saw in the first game. Um, you know, again, once again, Cam Newton was utilized in the run department. They couldn't stop him in the goal line until the final play of the game. That's when the Seahawks finally stopped him. But gotta, gotta but gotta give a lot of credit uh, to this this offense, uh, especially for Cam Newton, especially in that run department um, as well. As far as the defensive side of the ball, got it. You know, the Patriots. Devin McCourty had a pick six. Made that shout out to James White and his family. Um, that was very, very cool of James uh, of Devin McCarty to do. We saw Jamal Adams ball out. You know, uh, very impressive how the Seahawks are using him, kind of the same way as Greg Williams used Jamal Adams. Used him a lot in the box. Very, very aggressive. Again, that's his that's his best skill set. He's not the best coverage safety in the world, but as far as an in the box safety, he might just be the best in all of football. So I love the way that the Seahawks are using him. Um, but I love the aggression the Seahawks put out on, 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 on the Patriots, especially in the second half. Love the aggression they did in the second half. Um, but I feel like the offensive unit for the Patriots, the fact that they were down 23 to 35 and Russell Wilson and the Seahawks offense continues to just shred this Patriots defense, which by the way, was the number one defense in all of football last year. Um, even going into this year, they did a phenomenal job against the Dolphins, which put up 28 points against a really good Bills defense. The fact that the Patriots are able to respond after being down by that many points and they were able to come back and almost win the football game just got to give a lot of credit. And again, it wasn't it wasn't really any run plays. It was all passing plays. And Edelman was uncoverable. They couldn't really guard him. And when they weren't throwing it to Edelman, they were throwing they were just going to throw it to Harry. And, you know, they had other targets as well that made that made some plays in the receiving game as well. But Cam Newton, again, just the poise that he showed was just absolutely phenomenal. And even though the Patriots lost this game at the last second, trying to do a little QB, uh, trying to do a little QB power in the goal line, still this Patriots offense, at least on the offensive side of the ball, they are going to put a lot of fear into a lot of NFL football teams because this defensive unit is for real. And Russell Wilson, this offense, we all know Russell Wilson is one of the top two, or if not top three quarterbacks in all of football. He can do this to anybody. Uh, so I feel like for the New England Patriots, they are not out of the woods yet. They're still going to compete, and I feel like they and they feel like and I feel like this this Patriots team could still win the AFC East division pretty easily. Um, even though the Bills, my Bills, are you know I think they're definitely going to make some noise as well. But um, yeah, man, just impressed by the Patriots, even with the loss overall wise. And I can't wait to see more of Cam Newton next week. So anyway, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure to like the video, share the video, and also to subscribe. Also, my social media links will be below the description if you guys want to check that out. My Twitter is Jens716 and Instagram is, is uh, JCH716. You guys, again, once again, want to check that out. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. So Patriots fans, Seahawks fans, let me know how you guys felt, felt about this game. And we can definitely hash it down in the comment section below. So yes, guys, this is Jens716, a.k.a. Jens Sports. I'll check you guys later. Peace.